Hello everybody, this is Yellow Demon Hurler, back with more Homeworld Deserts of Karak. This may be the final episode. The Gaussian flagship has shown up. GU field expanded. We're still prepping. Building a salt cruiser because we can afford it. Uh, where's my base runner? Where's Report. my sole base runner? Designated. Defend that Lad. area with a turret. Layer the mines. Let's go. We need a turret set in place. There's Galcian in the area. Get that mine out and set. Deploy a turret on that location. Set up mines. Get on it. Assault cruiser ready for assignment. Layer the mines. Okay. Let's go. Crew ready. Uh, shift Crew two. Ready. Control group two. two designated. I don't know if that's the ideal arrangement, but attention. We don't have the CUs for a standing by. What you call it? Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and fire a shot over there, since I'm sure there's an escort fleet. Artillery cruiser operational. Give us your target. Seven control seven. Group seven assigned. Roll out. Support ready. Lay down mines. Move. Reading your command. I have a feeling we're going to be engaged in the crest of this. The Galcian flagship has long range missile strike capability. Identified Argus site on Galcian air units inbound. Whoa. Back. Units respond. Warning. Rachel's hull is at 75%. Okay, I stand corrected. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of Can I capture? Let's see. Need a production cruiser. Okay. Yes. Capture it? No. Alert. Hostile battle cruiser inbound. Armor vehicle taking effective fire. Reporting. Fire on the move. Receiving. Move out. This is the captain. Warning. Ahead. Carrier hull passing over 25%. Listen up. Push her through. Ready to give him hostile strike craft down. Oh boy. Maintenance protocols in effect. Give me that siege cruiser. Battle report. Hostile battle cruiser eliminated. Crew ready. Hostile production cruiser oh, verified. Receive taken out by five. Alert. Siege cruiser verified in the AO. Guard position for spawn. Okay. Turn on repair system. Carrier systems. warning. Heat levels are spiking. Reroute power to avoid system damage. Or armor systems inoperative. Artillery crews are in contact. Provide fire support. Standing by. Alert. Missile battery destroyed. Alert. Battle cruiser is taking fire. Target. Position marked. Attention. Hostile armor incoming. Uh, I'm looking at these units inbound. Not too great. Fire. Respond. Uh, build me. Enemy armor disabled. Bomber to launch deck. Ascending post, taking fire. Ready to launch. Okay. Uplink positive. Firing. Hostile interceptor dead. Yeah. Listen up. Zero in with four crews are under attack. Immediate fire support on that position. That's, uh. Target set. Set new heading. Yeah, I noticed that. Nice work, Rachel. Fire it well. Okay. Despite how limited my fleet is, I think my best chance is to press the attack. Alert. Ready. BC is taking fire. Fire EMP. Runner. Alert. Warning. Carrier is taking fire. Let's see. Acknowledged. Contact. Move to fire. This is the captain. 
Objective. Target and destroy. Yeah, boy. Hostile armor. Eliminate. Receiving five. Bucks. Battle perimeter is facing resistance. Move into position formation. Build another. Uh. Battle cruiser. The Galtian flagship has sustained minor damage to primary systems. Detected. Nice shot. Alert. Hostile to beach cruiser sighted. Enemy production cruiser has appeared in the AO. Carrier warning. Heat levels are spiking. Reroute power to avoid system damage. Support ready. Unidentified contact. Heat order designated hostile. AO We got something on the horizon. Waiting for eyes on to attend. Artillery and air units inbound. On. Scum. On our way. The flagship has suffered significant damage. Okay. Reading. Copy. Target set. Battle report. Hostile battle cruisers are eliminated. Bomber set for launch. The readings indicate their carrier's power systems are about to go critical. Artillery cruiser lost. Interesting. Support cruiser under attack. Immediate fire support on that position. Oof. Our bomber is taking fire. What are you Tracking guys doing? Armored craft on approach. Cruiser ready. Red alert. Command alert. Carrier Battle taking fire. Is taking fire. Uh, Position marked. Come on. Salvage your copies. Charge there now. Salvage your copies. Alert. Battle report. Hostile engaged. Cruiser ready. Our fast position authenticated. Assess the marks to use. Salvage are ready. Okay. Whew. Okay, that's the Gaussian Forget flagship. My people. My creator. The wrath of Sajak will descend upon her. In an unimaginable hailstorm of fire and death. At least not wrong. Look, that you will one day bring this fate upon us all. <clears throat> it's not Sajuk that does it. Heed my words, Morphia. Seek his forgiveness. Before it is too late, step into his light and be absolved. Well, he certainly believes what he's saying. Well, I thought that was going to go very badly, but I won. The truth of our origins is only now being revealed. Descendants of the great derelicts of Karak. We are all one. We are all Kushan. Galsian My brother said, inbound. Shush in Telaster. lay in the desert. It's too early to know for sure if he was right. But one thing is certain. This is not the end. But rather, a new beginning. For us all. Well, apparently that's the end. Hmm. I don't know. That felt a little bit anticlimactic. I mean, yeah, I was struggling because I had my fleet was depleted but of one quite um quite easily hmm. anyway this has been homeworld deserts of Karak uh what do I think of it um it was a lot of fun early in the uh early on and I enjoyed it quite a bit. As it draw, as it sort of drew on, though it. Uh, how do I put this? Um, it kind of lost the spark. It stopped being quite as fun. Um, I think that's because the as we went on, the battles got more complicated. There was more stuff to do at once, and I don't know, maybe I just failed to master the controls, but I felt like I was fighting with the interface sometimes to, um, to be where I needed to be 
and do what I needed to do. I mean, I could do it all, but it was kind of slow. The story, um, kind of left a lot to be desired, um... Galtian air units inbound. <laughs> thank you, um, Intel. Uh... I know there's the uh, old uh, old storytelling uh, advice in late out early, but I think we came in too late. I, I didn't feel like there was significance to what we were doing. I, I, I don't know why we went into the uh, uh, desert. What made them, what made them think that their salvation lay in the desert? I don't know. Anyway, and the uh, Sadim betrayal, yeah, that was kind of, that was kind of lame. It, I, that was not done very well. Um, but that cutscene, though, I, the plot twist was so-so. The cutscene was excellent. So it has that going for it. So, uh... It's a pretty good game. Um, could have been better, I think. Uh, but a decent homeworld game, I think. Anyway. So, yes, on to the next series, probably the Beginner's Guide, and afterward I'm not entirely certain. You guys seem to be liking me playing real-time strategy games on my channel. Or maybe just the Homeworld franchise, so I could do more real-time strategy games. Um, I feel like I have trouble doing them, though, because there's so much to keep track of at once that it's kind of hard to do commentary. So I go quiet a lot of the time. So please let me know what you think of that. Um, and more specifically, there is one real-time strategy game that I absolutely love. It's Sort of like this, it's a car act, only done even better. Uh, but it's outside my normal content guides, because there's a lot of swearing in it. Yep. Congratulations, I have beaten the campaign. Let me know what you would th what you think about that. I normally keep things PG, semi-family friendly. Um, it's a really great game. It just swears a lot. So let me know if you would be interested in seeing that. It's uh, World in Conflict. A uh, probably my favorite real-time strategy game ever. Uh, alternatively, I could um, play either Homeworld 2 or Homeworld um, Cataclysm, which is probably my favorite entry in the Homeworld series. Or, I don't know, maybe it's time to step away from Homeworld for a little while. Um, we've had Homeworld as the main Monday, Wednesday, Friday series for quite a while now. Maybe it's time to do something else. I have things I could do. Um, Aquaria, I got uh, Abzu. That's probably short enough that it would go in a Tuesday, Thursday slot, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, there are options, so if you have any preferences as to what you would like me to do next, uh, let me know. Until then, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!